Hello guys, welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about what is Prompt Builder and what are the different features of Prompt Builder. So what is Prompt Builder? As the name indicate, it is a builder of the prompt, means it is a tool that helps you build prompt templates. Prompt Builder is the tool that allows you to create specific prompt templates within Salesforce. Salesforce Prompt Builder is a low code tool designed to help Salesforce admins to create, test and manage AI prompts within the Salesforce ecosystem. So if you have to create any of these prompt templates, if you have to manage these prompt templates, you will do it within this Prompt Builder tool. It allows you to integrate generative AI into your processes by creating prompt templates that leverage your CRM data. So through this prompt builder, you will be able to create prompt templates and that prompt templates will have placeholders which will actually fetch the data from your CRM objects. Okay, so that is what is the usage of prompt builder. Prompt builder is used to create templates and there are different types of prompt templates that you can create and we will talk about the different types of templates in a minute but before we jump into that let's understand the features of prompt builder so through the prompt builder it is used to create prompt templates and there are a variety of prompt templates that you can create using prompt builder you can create a sales email template you can create field generation template you can create record summary template and flex template there are different types of templates you can create using Prompt Builder. Integration with CRM data. Prompt Builder uses merge fields to reference record fields, flows, related list, and apex, ensuring that the prompts are grounded in your CRM data. So within these templates, you are going to refer the fields from objects and that will be pulled during the runtime. So it will integrate with the CRM data also. So Prompt Builder is used to create prompt templates and there are a variety of prompt templates that you can create like sales email, field generation, etc. The second feature is the integration with CRM data. It is able to fetch data from the CRM objects. That is the second capability of Prompt Builder. The third thing is generative AI. It enables the use of large language models to generate content, summaries and descriptions enhancing the productivity and customer interaction. So it what it does it it uses large language model to generate content. So that template that you create will eventually will be converted into a prompt and that prompt will be sent over to the AI model and that AI model is going to give you a response. And security and trust, the tool operates within the Einstein trust layer, ensuring data safety and accuracy. So this tool is going to perform within this Einstein trust layer, which basically guarantees the safety and accuracy of the prompts, the responses and everything. Okay, so everything is secured because this operates within the Einstein trust layer. So these are the features of Prompt Builder. Now let's understand the different types of prompt templates that are there. So you have the first type of template is sales email prompt template. So in order for you to create sales teams draft personalized emails, you're going to use sales email prompt template. Okay, so this particular template is used to generate personalized email to send to your contacts, to your leads, etc. It uses customer data to create tailored emails for contacts or leads, saving time and ensuring consistency. So let's say whenever a case comes and if that case is associated with a particular contact, you want to send an email to that contact using the contact's name, the, con the, the information from the case, etc. right? So you want to send a personalized email. In that case, you can create a sales email template within the prompt builder. The second type of prompt template you have is field generation prompt template. Let's say you want to, to fill out some of the fields on the Salesforce records. If you want to fill out certain fields based on some other information or based on some data from different objects, related objects, etc. If you want to fill out a particular field on the Salesforce record, you can use field generation prompt template. 
It uses AI to generate summaries or descriptions for specific fields, making data entry faster and more accurate. So if you wanted to generate a particular text for a particular field, you can use this field generation prompt template and it will basically will fill out the details or in that particular field. Okay, so that is what is called as the field generation. The third type of template is the record summary template. And this basically is designed to provide a concise overview of a record key information. On a particular record, there can be hundreds of fields and it is impossible to glance through each of those fields to figure out the important information. So what this particular type of template does it, it basically fetches a concise overview of the important pieces of information that is available in your record. It helps user quickly understand the most important details about a record without having to sift through all the data. So instead of looking through each of every field that is available on that record, what it does is it basically quickly summarizes that information and it only fetches the key information from that record and presents it over to you. The template pulls together essential information from various fields and presents it in a summarized format. This can include things like the record status, key dates, important notes, and any other critical data points. So in order to kind of get a summary of the record, you can use this record summary template in order to create a summary of any kind of record within Salesforce. This template is particularly useful for getting a quick snapshot of a record, making it easier to make informed decisions or updates. So that is what we have is a record summary template. So you so far we've talked about sales email template, then you have is field generation template, and then you have is the record summary template. The fourth one is flex prompt template. If there is something that is little bit complicated and you want to fetch data from multiple sources, then in that case, you are going to use flex template. It provides the flexibility for various unique business needs. It can take different types of inputs and generate content accordingly. For example, it, if you have to create a newsletter using data from multiple sources, it can be related sources or it can be unrelated sources. So if you have to fetch data from multiple sources like products and campaigns, then you are going to use flex template. So if something cannot be achieved using the sales email or through field generation or through record summary, then the last resort you have is a flex template. Now from the next tutorials, we will start building these different types of templates. Okay. So if you have not understood the theory, do not worry because we are going to take a lot of practical examples to illustrate these different types of templates. Okay. So far, what you have to learn is what is a prompt prompt is nothing, but it is an instruction that you're going to give it to your AI model. Then you have something called as prompt template. What is a prompt template? Prompt template is basically a reusable template that you can use to generate prompts, which eventually will land over to the AI model and will give you a response. Then you have is the different types of prompt templates. You have email prompt template, then you have sales email prompt template, then you have field some field generation uh, template, then you have is record summary template. And the fourth one is flex template. So these are different types of templates that are available. Okay, so I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.